Welcome back to my video blog. The last couple of years I've passed a lot of legislation, but there's two in particular that I want to really highlight today. Uh, a bill that's been in effect for over one year and a bill that takes place coming this November 1st. Well, the first bill I want to talk about quickly is House Bill 2005. I've been working with a lot of our rural fire and volunteer fire departments as, as well as our state fire marshal's office and rural fire coordinators. And we knew that there was a problem in Oklahoma with the declining number of volunteer firefighters. Not only is that an Oklahoma problem, it's a national problem. But we recognized the problem, we came up with a solution, and then we passed a law, which basically states that those individuals wanting to serve and volunteer for their area communities over the age of 45 could become volunteer firefighters. And that's exactly what we've done. And I'm happy to announce that one year later, after this bill became law, November 1st of 2015, we now have over 140 volunteer firefighters new volunteer firefighters across the state. They protect lives, they protect properties, ISO, which is insurance, rates go down. And I'm happy to announce that this number will only, only increase. So I'm very, very thankful for our volunteer firefighters and the jobs that they do across the state. A uh, bill that I wanna highlight next is a very important piece of legislation and quite frankly, I think pretty historic. It's my House Bill 3146, and that is my DUI bill. It's historic because we now move all DUIs from municipal non-courts of records to district courts. And there's a variety of reasons why we did that. One, we're gonna make sure that these repeat drunk drivers get off the road. Number two, we're gonna make sure that they receive the proper prosecution. Thirdly, we're gonna be able to give them an assessment or treatment plan if they so choose. And lastly, is a database that goes with this particular piece of legislation. And what that will do is from here forward, from November 1st of 2016 moving forward, we'll be able to track every DUI on every city street, every county road, and every state highway. We all know that DUI is a black eye on the state of Oklahoma. That's all I have today. Check out my next blog here in the coming weeks. So for now, take care, see you soon.